Dear friends, welcome to Body Language and Travel Show. Our first guest for 2021 is Chippy Sarma. Chippy is an entrepreneur, a philanthropist and a passionate traveler. He has been to travel industry for more than three decades as the managing director of Neptune Trafco. What next? Is his book, A Recollection of Invertebrate Voyager? Is the body language, the connect bridge between cultures? Stay tuned, it's going to be an amazing interview. Sarma did his schooling from King George School, Belgaum, now known as Rastrigia Military School. He's an uh, alumnus uh, of the prestigious National Defense Academy. He started his career with the Indian Navy and uh, there as Master uh, Mariner and did a short stint in the Merchant Navy. Chippy, as he's known to his friends and colleagues, is an entrepreneur, philanthropist and a passionate traveler. He has been in the travel business for over three decades and is the managing director of Neptune Trafco. It was a milestone year in his life when Neptune Foundation, which works mainly with the deprived children in their society. He is married. He has two children and now he settled in New Delhi. Stay tuned. It's going to be an amazing interview. Dear friends, welcome to Body Language and Travel Show. Our guest of today is Chippy Sarma. Chippy is known to his friends and to his colleagues as an entrepreneur, a philanthropist and a passionate traveler. He has been in travel business in over three decades, he's the managing director of Neptune Trafco. Broadcasting from Thessaloniki, Greece, connected with New Delhi, India, Chippy Sharma, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. So let's share first. We had met a few years back in Hell Expo in a major uh, tourism exhibition held in Thessaloniki, Greece. And uh, since then, we kept regular uh, communicative in regards to various aspects, exchanging our ideas for tourism, since tourism has been changing so fast. I have recognized uh, Chippy Sarma, his logos, because he's an expert to his field, his pathos, because he's passionate about traveling, about people, about tourism, about what he's doing, and He's because he's a philanthropist. Uh, that's why at this point I would like Chippy Sarma to share a few words in regards to Neptune Foundation. See, Neptune Foundation uh, basically is a non-governmental organization. <clears throat> we started this a few years back and it's been a while now. The basic uh, focus of this foundation is to help the girl child especially girls from the weaker section of society. And we support them in schools. We have set up libraries. We have set up open gyms, sewing centers, donating books, doing regular painting competitions and excursions. So it's a mix of things that we do for these girls. And over a period, <clears throat> almost uh, more than 2,000 girls have uh, <clears throat> taken advantage or sort of have benefited from our organization and we still have a long way to go, but then slowly we keep adding on things. And I hope in the near future, we can do much more for, for uh, girls in particular. And we have also been doing a charity polo match, which is uh, an annual event. Probably it's the only polo event in the country for the girl child, which has been receiving uh, good support, which actually is a uh, more support for our foundation. And uh, we are thankful to all our patrons who have been associated with us. Now that's uh, amazing. Is since you have traveled to over 70 countries, and I mean seven zero countries across all continents, uh, what did you learn from traveling? See, traveling to me, for me, I think it's a big exposure. It's an experience. It is knowledge. And uh, you broaden your horizon. And having traveled all over, I feel... You know, people are wonderful and uh, they're always very supportive. And to me, there has never been, I will say, a bad experience to have been all over the world. So I basically feel it's more of an exposure and an eye opener for anybody who travels more. 
that's lovely. And we come to know about culture. We meet people, so it's 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 a lot. I mean, uh, that one goes through your travel. Exactly. So, what makes people? Uh, what connect people, and what makes people care? See, people. What basically, I think every human being, you know, expects respect and tolerance. And I think uh, if you have that, I mean, people all over the world are the same. There is respect. There is tolerance. You know, we all get connected very well. And uh, if you find even the problems today, whether you call it. terrorism or whatever it is all because of lack of tolerance otherwise i mean we are all the same exactly so i would like to ask at this particular point that we are talking about connection of people connection if non verbal communication and i am explaining facial expressions body posture uh, gestures are playing a role is like let's say the bridge that connect culture See, there are uh, i would put it the aspects of communication norms of non verbal communication vary from country to country and people to people and having traveled numerous countries and uh, you know been to various places i have found even without knowing a single word of the local language i have received full support and people have made me feel very comfortable now this is only because of you know verbal communic uh, non verbal communication whether it can be a smile it is gesture gestures eyes and uh, you know this is what basically just is good enough i mean even if you don't speak a word of the language there i totally agree with you that even a smile a smile connect people if the smile comes from the heart you can feel it and it's no need to hear any word i totally uh, agree i couldn't agree more beautiful opportunity that i am connected with you now in new delhi what was india contributed to you brought up in india and if you have any recommended places uh, to visit see uh, i mean uh, to be honest i mean uh, you know i think we all most of us are proud to be born wherever we are but i am definitely more than proud to be born in india and i i will literally say i have been blessed to be born in india more than just to be born now india is a country of diverse cultures people of different cultures and religions live together harmoniously and you know we enthusiastically celebrate all the festivals so which is a, a big mix i mean you know with so many religions here and our country is an extreme where there are rich there are poor we have luxury there is hunger the coexistence of such varied features has taught us on the essence of life and kept us grounded and at the same time we should not forget that india is a growing economy there are a lot of young people and it really has a very bright future thanks you that india gold in all See, India basically, I mean, as it is our, you know, motto as well. It's an incredible country. I would rather call it incredible India, in fact. Now it is everything for everyone, and we sit upon layers of history. And uh, there are such marked contrasts in the country that you know one really has to be here to see what all is there. It overloads the senses with its cacophony of sounds. its vibrant colors and its it is extreme contradictions now india's people food beaches chaos religion spirituality festivals history ar- architecture and adventure in fact uh, there's so much to offer and uh, it's a country that you really cannot see in a lifetime and india can be visited round the year although most people visit in india during the winters i'm talking of especially foreigners coming into india but there are places there are mountains there's everything i mean you know you can keep traveling round the year and our motto is atithi devo bhava and what we mean it is it means guest is god 
we welcome all guests with open arms and we are known to give them and show them our hospitality young people thank you so much for this i would like to ask you at this period of time at this specific period if there is any uh, motto something that you are keeping in your mind it motivates you if you having something like that see at the moment uh, i mean uh, i if i'll put it uh, you know i'll call it more of my personal motto you know i i would put it that way and i personally feel that one must be a good human being and chase his dreams to succeed and basically one must find satisfaction in what one does i would on this uh, you know mention about as what walt disney once said all our dreams can come true if we have the courage to pursue them this would be my motto for everybody i love it so all the dreams come true if you have the courage to pursue them it's amazing an amazing motto for everyone what next see my book uh, what next uh, recollections of an inveterate voyager means a lot to me now the book had been on my mind for many years you know i always wanted to sort of you know pen it and you know put it in words but you know there was no time after work and then you always had plenty of responsibilities but suddenly with covid coming in i mean we are stuck at home the restrictions imposed and i suddenly thought that i had ample time in hand i this is a time i just started with my ms uh, manuscript uh, well uh, it it took me uh, over a period of almost a period of 3 months and it was a great learning experience and uh, my, my and my book was ready and uh, basically uh, this book uh, covers uh, i mean in brief my childhood schooling and my impressions about the national defense academy the indian navy and merchant navy as also my learning experience with international crew in the oil fields i would say this book is more of a travel log which covers my travel experiences adventures beautiful places peoples and quaint cultures yet within this bewildering diversity i could sense the essential unity it is about some places that people would have on their travel wish list and the book should motivate them further to travel i would uh, also like to mention that now that the book is ready it is also available on amazon kindle and other platform this is actually it is uh, what next and it and the complete title would be what next recollections of an inveterate traveler perfect that is a complete title of the book so and um, they can find it in amazon and that is amazing that you accomplished this uh, through this uh, period so you you took uh, the courage and you accomplished your dream with this book in fact i have already been contemplating you know because you see this is one book you can only the world is so huge it's so wide and experiences are diff so different so you really cannot cover it in a book and i'm sure you know I, the, it won't be long before i have my second book going and just keep your fingers crossed i'm sure with the you know good wishes of everyone i should be able to do it it was it was amazing oh, thank you for you. being here for me it was an honor actually to have you in my youtube uh, channel and have this chance to interview you so um, are all, i hope that you all enjoy our interview with mr chipi sarma i really appreciate for you. taking your time and you know let me giving me a chance to talk to you and uh, and it is from another part of the world and you know it's really wonderful and thank you so much i really appreciate thank you it was my honor thank you